Hello and welcome inside our award-winning locker room show sponsored by your Hampton Road Chevy dealers. I am Adam Winkler. Megan Plain has the night off. Tonight, our follow-up Friday segments continue. We will rebroadcast stories from the past and follow up with the subject or subjects in the piece for a present day update. In these past few months, have given us plenty of updates on the Washington football team without the squad even playing a game. For context, on an offseason unlike any other, let's go back to January 2nd when the team, then still known as the Redskins, introduced new head coach Ron Rivera. Hello and welcome inside the Chevrolet Sports Report coming to you from Redskins Park in Ashburn where this afternoon the Skins start the Rivera era. Ron Rivera, nearly one month to the day after being fired as head coach of the Carolina Panthers, is introduced as the new bench boss in Washington the team he faced in his final game with the Panthers. Minutes after his introductory press conference, I go one-on-one -on -one with the two-time NFL Coach of the Year. And we begin our chat with the in-depth research he did on the Redskins between losing his job in Carolina and taking this gig. Were you looking for something to sell you on this job? And if so, when did you know this was it? Yes, I, I really was. You know, um, one of the things I talked about was fit. Uh, when I first got uh, let go was people asked me, well, did you want to coach? Yes, and what are you looking for? I said fit. So the thing I wanted to do was I wanted to look at the players and see where they were. I wanted to see, you know, whether these guys were growing and learning and developing and getting better as a football team uh, individually and as a group. We're going to have a ton of time to talk football next as knows between now and training camp. Let's talk off the field. During that break, you took a visit to our neck of the woods. Mm -hmm. You visited our Navy SEALs in Virginia Beach as the son of an Army officer. What do you say to the group, and also, what do you get out of visits like that? <laughs> well, first and foremost, I say thank you. I really do, because yeah. they're tremendous people. They really are, that, that make that kind of commitment sacrifice so, so that we may have the freedoms that we do. Um, but what I really do take out of it for myself personally is just the amazement I have for who these, who these men and women are that give so much to our country. And, and it really, I want to make sure they understand and know that I truly do want, to be, uh, want them to know that I am grateful for that. I really am. One of the things you said you didn't like about your break away from the field is your bride Stephanie making you get up and wash dishes. So I have to ask, what is the moving process like? Is Coach Rivera packing any boxes right now or do you get out of it to watch game film? Oh no, I, I had to pack my own boxes before I left. So a lot of my stuff's are in boxes. You know, again, when you grow up in a military family, all that stuff's part of it. Everything from doing dishes to vacuuming to doing your own laundry, which I do. Um, and then packing boxes when it's time to move. That's what happened when we were kids. You know, when, when dad got transferred and we were getting ready, hey, Kids, pack your toys up, put them in the right types of boxes, and let's roll. One piece of laundry you don't have to take. Let's see the New Jersey. Oh, Ron yeah. Rivera, newest head coach of the Washington Redskins. Among the several players in attendance for today's press conference, defensive lineman Jonathan Allen. And he tells us he is excited for this new era under Ron Rivera. In fact, during his All-American career at the University of Alabama, Allen played with the son of Jack Del Rio, his new defensive coordinator, here with the Skins. At Redskins Park in Ashburn, I'm Adam Winkler for the Chevrolet Sports Report. All right, Jack Del Rio, not only the defensive coordinator of the team, he will assume head coaching duties if necessary this season as Ron Rivera is treated five days a week for seven weeks for a form of skin cancer. Yes, it's a story we first told you about last night. The 58-year-old Rivera has squamous cell cancer of his neck. The team says it was caught early and is considered very treatable and curable. This chapter, just the latest in a turbulent ride for Rivera since taking over as head coach. And it's only been eight months, folks. Let's recap. Rivera was unable to host a single offseason practice with his new team because of the global health crisis. Then this summer, the franchise announces it's changing its name after 87 years as the Redskins. Then, that same week, the Washington Post publishes an expose about alleged sexual harassment in a once toxic culture within the organization prior to Rivera's arrival. Once his team finally does get on the field, he has to cut running back Darius Geis earlier this month following charges of domestic violence. And now, Rivera is fighting cancer. Folks, all of this has taken place without him even coaching a game. And you think you're ready for football season to start? Uncle. Of course, we send our prayers and well wishes to Coach Rivera and his family as he undergoes treatment for that cancer. That'll do it for this follow-up Friday edition of The Locker Room Show. For Megan Plain and everyone behind the scenes who helped make this one happen, I'm Adam Winkler. We're going to say we'll do it again next week. News 3 at 11 returns with a final check on your forecast after this timeout.